the need for infrastructure uh, for funding on the continent is huge, precisely because over the last 20 or 30 years, there's been a buildup, uh, so a backlog of infrastructure. So, I mean, one way to see the infrastructure bottlenecks on the continent is just to sort of like when you travel around the continent, what you often do see in large cities is uh, traffic buildups, right? So that's a sign that um, there's been a backlog of infrastructure projects, and particular in this particular case, roads. Uh, and the big story there is that, uh, you know, prior to the 80s, uh, one of the biggest funders of infrastructure projects on the on the continent was the World Bank, right? Because the World Bank was essentially set up to fund infrastructure. You know, I think I think the actual uh, I think the actual the technical word for the World Bank is the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So that's what the World Bank was set up to do, to finance large-scale infrastructure projects. Then in the 80s and 90s, there was an ideological, sort of philosophical, somewhat supported by uh, what they called state-of-the-art research that said, uh, you, know, you, you know, the public sector didn't need to be involved in funding infrastructure. You know, if, if the rates of return were justifiable, private sector would do it. But that didn't happen. Surprise, surprise, that didn't happen. So what happened in Africa is was a huge backlog of infrastructure uh, uh, projects over the years. You know, we were lagging behind in power and roads and hospitals and these kinds of things. So the need for infrastructure is huge. I mean, go anywhere on the continent, you will see that there's a lacking of basic infrastructure. There's been, we've lagged behind in terms of basic infrastructure. And this is where sort of like uh, an association with the Chinese is rather attractive because there is that possibility that the infrastructure funding gap, the infrastructure backlog might be wiped out. So the, 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 the need for infrastructure is huge. So the Chinese are interested in funding um, mainly sort of large scale infrastructure projects. So, uh, but it does vary across countries and uh, dependent on countries' own interests and sort of like uh, requirements. So, for example, in that from Zambia's point of view, Zambia tends to be lots of roads, uh, so hospitals, uh, soccer stadia, those kinds of things. Um, in other countries, for example, Ethiopia, there's a huge uh, power electric dam, you know, the Grand Renaissance Dam that was. Uh, partly constructed by the Chinese, so constructed by the Chinese, partly funded by the Ethiopians, also partly funded by the Chinese. Uh, in West Africa, there's uh, you know a rail line being built there. Um, so it does tend to vary across the continent, but the one common denominator is that it's large scale sort of infrastructure projects, you know, the kind of stuff that you need to power development.